Jesus Bible and if you look on the sheet, given the pros and cons for all the options, the ones that have the most um, pros for them would be the consultation to what well, would be the closure for the rest for Chair, before we carry on, I just want to talk about from Councillor Doughty. You mentioned that your work is in teaching assistance at the special needs school. Is it any other school mentioned in these reports? Oh, with special needs children, no, not with special, not at a special needs school. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, so the question I wanted to ask you really, which I think you can kind of answer for me, I wanted to ask you whether you felt your views would be considered or, or do you have cons uh, confidence in a consultation process I yourself? I think our main concern is if, if our children is children. If, if you can provide a good or better education for our children elsewhere, then I fully support your decisions. But, you know, that, that we have to see that. The children are... They're our priority. Our priority and always will be in this process. So just to give feel that you could do your job equally as well in another location, or is there something really special about Lindale? I wouldn't necessarily put it Lindale being the building, the ethos, and the aim of the schools. That's what I really feel very passionate about. Whether that could be fulfilled in other areas of the schools, I don't know. That's what's important to me is what, in, at Lindale, the priority is the children. And when it's under there to be educated, Considering our children have numerous medical needs, they, um, they still have a very fulfilling educational role. Thank you. Okay, I've got Alan and then Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, it's just uh, really to help my understanding. Uh, most of the children require one to one support, uh, as I understand it. Uh, and therefore, uh, because inevitably this all comes down to what it would cost if you move children somewhere else. Um, if, if, let's go the other way, if, if Lindale had six new children, does that mean it, it, we would have to increase the staff by five or six? I mean, uh, is that an unfair question? It really is, yes, but I, I couldn't ask that question. I should be clear in interest because I've got a child with many different things. I don't think they need to be fair in interest. Anyway, mine was the same as Paul's question, really. Uh, take my hat off to you with the, uh, the effort you put into your work. Yeah, it's one of our children. Um, it's what, well, I think Paul asked the question. All the equipment you use and the uh, facilities you have, if you were to move to a school, and those facilities are there, and all the equipment is there, apart from the fabric of the building, the obviously would still carry out the jobs. And the as long as the, if the space was there and the equipment was there and there's the room for our children and our, our children's safety, safety and safety, our children have full freedom of our, of our school. Whether they're down at the bottom end in early years or whether at the top end if you say to children themselves, they have, they are, they're safe in every single end of the school and, and whether that can happen in the school I don't know. Thanks very much.